In this three minute demo video, we're gonna talk about application integration that's event driven from Workday. Traditionally, with Workday, we use our Workday snaps. And that's very nice if you have some data integration and you wanna do an initial load, if you wanna do a change data capture, of uh, parameterized load. In this example, you see a load of selecting new hires, and then we're gonna send that off to various endpoint systems like Snowflake, Anaplan, could be SAP, it could be Oracle, whatever it is. In today's example, we're gonna use this pipeline, which doesn't include the workday snaps, and is completely event-driven based on what's happening in Workday. In this example, we're gonna talk about the hire to retire process, so you can see the different operations in the router that are gonna route the various events coming from Workday. Hire, change job, add job, termination, and end job. Today, I'll just show you the hire process, which will flow over to a student information system. It will post it to Anaplan. I'll also show you the file that gets written. So to do that, let's go into Workday itself and start the process of hiring and employing. I'll type in hire. And supervisory organization is going to be global modern services. And I'll create a pre hire. And there's a few pieces of information that we will need to fill out. So let's do that. The name is Mary. You are required to have at least one contact information. So uh, I'll put an email address in there. And it's type. I'll just say this is a work email. And we'll give it a date, which will be today, May the 4th, 2020. I'll put a reason in there, a new hire to fill a vacancy, and then all of the different details about the job, such as the position, the employee type, so regular job profile, so business analyst, and full-time, and a location, and I'll just say New York. And that's it as far as my job. This will need to be approved, and there will, be need, to, there will need to be a background check which I'll go through very quickly before the job fires off and staff back. So as I mentioned, the approval will happen by Logan McNeil. And there's a couple ways to get there. You can start a proxy, or I can just uh, click on this little ellipsis and then go down to security profile and up to start proxy for her. And it will bring me to her page with her inbox. So I see Logan McNeil's inbox, and there's the proposed compensation hire for Mary B. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, but I haven't uh, entered in her salary. Uh, so I will see a warning, which will come up here, and I'm going to submit it again. And say that one is OK. And that's it. Now I need to refresh, and you'll see the background check. And once I do that, you can see what's happening in Snap Logic. So I'm just going to say pass the background check and submit it. And on this submit of the background check, if I go to the process monitor in Workday and I uh, look at the integrations, you will see the SnapLogic Collab has processed 151 Pacific time. I'm in the east, you can see it's happened about one minute ago, 453. Here's the SnapLogic Collab. So over in SnapLogic, if I go to the designer back to our pipeline, again, the flow went through the higher flow across the top, and it should have written it to the student system, which is under, underneath its Oracle database, as well as to Anaplan. I'll show you that. I have a tester pipeline that's an Oracle tester that's going to read that new hire table in Oracle. And if I validate it one more time, we should see a new role entered in for Mary McGee with all of the associated information that I asked for. 
right across the top, you can see the ADD. In addition, I wrote the file out to uh, just a file in the Snapdragon file system. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh, and you'll see that record comes across there from the ADD. So this is application integration, something that uh, you don't have to use the Workday SAP pack for, but it can be very powerful in terms of all of the processes that you might want to 